guys, so today we are in my kitchen. This is my desk where I do my meal planning and I'm going to show you where my recipes are. So this box down here is where I keep my recipes. Ooh, it is heavy. So I had, well I still have, all of my recipes in this binder. This is what I was using and still am currently using because I haven't moved everything over yet. But I kind of just have them separated in here in these little plastic page protectors. So I have beverages, appetizers, soup and salad, sides, veggies, pasta, casseroles, meats, And then the other ones, I got the wrong size and they are shorter and that's why I'm moving things around. So then I have main dish, desserts, breakfast, seafood, and breads. And that's how I have everything in here. And these are all of my tried and true recipes that I have made and liked. Some of them I've made multiple times. So, and then I have extra ones here. But I kind of got tired of this. I've had this for years. This is how I've had everything set up. And I would just either handwrite my recipes, like this one is handwritten, and then some of them are printed out from the computer. But I was getting tired of this. So when I did my planner shopping at the end of last year, I found this, which is a recipe book. And I just bought it. I didn't really go through it until I brought it home. So I started putting some of them in here. I've got some of my breakfast. This is the quiche recipe. The only thing that I don't like about this is if I splatter food on it, it's gonna stain because this is just paper. So now I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so I started putting them in here. It has a breakfast tab, sides, main dishes, desserts, and miscellaneous. And then in the back here, it has a big section on meal planning, which is nice. It has some stickers in here. It has a folder, pocket for extra things, and it has a little zipper pocket, a clear pocket. So I don't know, I started moving things into this and then I realized having it out while I'm baking and cooking that I was, these are pretty clean. Um, but some of the sheets are already dirty and I did not like that because with this binder, I just take the sheet out that I'm using. I take it out, you know, I just have it on my kitchen counter like this and then if I splatter anything, I just wipe it off. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to move to, but I wanted to go ahead and just hop on real quick and show you guys. I did have a couple requests a while ago on how I kept my recipes. So this is how I keep my recipes right now. I am looking for a new and better way. I do love the binder um, with the page protectors. I think I just wanna make it a little nicer. Maybe either create my own printables or find some that are free that I can print out and just make it look more pleasing to the eye. Like this one, it's so pretty. I love all the different colors um, and how, pre you know, how pretty this is versus how I had them you know, just written like this. So let me know down below if you guys have a preferred way of keeping your recipes. And I will definitely, if you've done a video on how you keep your recipes, leave that link in the comments as well because I'd love to check that out. Um, also in this box, I do not have a lot of cookbooks. I have this Harry Potter cookbook. I have various um, papers that came with some of the kitchen appliances that I have. And then down here are all recipes that I have not tried yet, but I have written from something or saved from a magazine. Um, I pretty much rely strictly on what I have here 
and Pinterest. I have two boards on Pinterest and I will link those down below. One of them is a board where I save all the recipes that I've made and I love and I know I'm gonna make again. And the other one I have is for recipes that I thought looked good or looked fun for the kids and it's just recipes that I want to try. So I'll link both of those down below if you guys wanna check those out. Now that I'm done with my you know, month price comparison with my grocery hauls, if you guys have seen that every Monday, um, I'm gonna get back into trying new recipes and you know, making use of some of my old recipes. So I really wanna get a little better organized. So this is what I have going on right now. Let me know your setup down below or any tips and tricks that you have for me to get a little bit more organized. Give this video a thumbs up. If you liked my little recipe thing, I just wanted to, like I said, hop on real quick today. Have a short video, which is kind of <laughs> rare for my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do try to post daily. Oh, it's so heavy, I gotta put it up. There we go. And since I post daily, I will see you guys tomorrow. Say hi to Polly. <laughs> she loves to hang out in this chair right here. I am constantly finding her in that chair. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.